Hello, I'm Paul Douglas. In the Boss Tone Studio software connected to your Boss Katana Mark II, the librarian is where you can make and edit collections of sounds, patches or tone settings in Boss's terminology. And showing you how to use that is what this video is all about. Please subscribe, click the bell, like and share this video. So we're all connected up, a uh, computer connected to the Katana's USB port and guitar connected to amp in the usual way. Um, if you need help with uh, getting set up and connected uh, with Tone Studio um, or need a refresher on editing sounds, um, I have several videos uh, on those you can watch, so I'll, I'll put links in the description below. Okay, let's get into the librarian. So to do that, we click on this uh, librarian icon up the top here. Now the librarian is where you manage live sets. Live sets are simply collections of sounds, uh, patches or tone settings. Now you can imagine you might want one set of sounds, one live set for at home practice, one for practice with your band, one for gigs, uh, maybe different live sets for different styles of music uh, you might play, um, maybe one for recording, there's endless possibilities. It's like having a pedal board for each one of those situations, I guess. So on the left, you can see all the sounds that are currently in uh, my katana here. Now on mine, which is the uh, katana head, uh, katana 100 head mark II, I have eight sounds here, uh, eight tone settings. That's four channels. So you can see on the top of the katana, you've got buttons CH1, CH2, CH3, CH4, and there's two banks. So we've got bank A, uh, four sounds, and bank B, four sounds, so eight in total. Now the best way of learning is by doing, so um, let's start by diving straight in and getting the sounds from my amp into the librarian. To do this, we need to click the import button. That's that this little uh, downward pointing arrow here. Um, we'll select the Katana Mark II because that's where we're importing from. Give it a name. So I don't know, let me just call it current settings for now. That's a rubbish name, but whatever. Um, and you can see that is now transferring the sounds from the Katana into the computer. And we can see those here as a live set called current settings. Now we can change any tone setting on the amp knowing that if we mess it up we can restore them from this live set in the library. That's the opposite operation of what we've just done. That's exporting the sounds we've got in the librarian to the amp. So I'll quickly show you how to do that. Very simple and this time it's the upward pointing arrow which is the export button. We'd uh, select the live set we want to export, that one, select Katana Mark II because that's what we're exporting to, and that's currently transferring the settings from the computer into the amp. Now it's just worth pointing out that these live sets will stay here, so you can close this software down, reopen it up again, and they'll look exactly like that uh, when you start it up again. Now you can also do a similar thing, so transfer sounds to the amp just one at a time, not the whole live set. Uh, and you do that with a very simple drag and uh, drop uh, procedure. So let me pick a sound here from one of these. I don't know, I've got lots of here. Let me pick this vintage stack sound. And I'm going to transfer that, just grabbing hold of it with the mouse. I'm going to transfer it into this uh, first channel here, bank A, CH1. And there you go. So if I just have a, a quick play of that sound, you can hear that is no longer the clean chorus sound that it was before. It is now that vintage stack sound. Similarly, we can do the reverse. We can go the other way. So we can drag a sound from the amp into the librarian. So let's just pick one um, like this vintage clean here. We'll drag that into this live set one I've got here. And there you go, you see we've got that sound there in the librarian. Now, as well as uh, dragging and dropping from the amp, you can drag and drop between all these live sets. Um, so say I wanted to transfer this modern power from there into this live set one. There we go, it's now in there. Now you can multi-select as well. So if you click on one sound, hold down shift and then click on uh, another one, it will select all the sounds between the two places you clicked and then you can drag those 
So if we drag those down there, simple as that, this live set now has those sounds in it. Now that drag and dropping operation I've shown you copies things from one set to other. If you wanted to actually move them, uh, then what you could do is uh, hold down Alt on the keyboard. And then so if I hold down Alt while I'm dragging this one, you will see that it's gone into this live set and it's been removed from this live set. So holding down Alt uh, moves things rather than copies them. Now also, you can delete an entire live set. So if I look at this current settings here, if I go to the three dots uh, just by its name, you see the little uh, trash can icon there. If I click on that, uh, ask you just to confirm it, click OK, and you can see that has now disappeared. OK, as a final demo, I'm going to set up a very simple live set with three sounds in it, a clean sound, a crunch sound, and a lead tone. So. Back into the editor here, uh, let's pick this uh, CH1 sound here. So this can be our clean sound. So what I'm going to do is select clean there. I'll take the delay, I'll leave a bit of reverb, but I'll put a little bit of uh, chorus on. So there we go, let's have a listen to that. Lovely. So I'm going to uh, write that to the amp. So I'm going to write it uh, and change that setting name to clean. Now pick on CH2 here, crunchy rhythm, that might already be set up how I want it. Let me just have a listen. Brilliant. Uh, I'm going to write that uh, anyway. I'm just going to call that crunch. And finally lead here. This might be set up how I like it. I'm going to switch that to the lead amp. Uh, I'm going to turn that delay off. Let's have a listen to that. Turn the reverb down a bit. Uh, let's just have a, maybe a little bit of delay. Lovely. Lovely. I'm going to write that. Uh, okay, it's already called lead. I'll just keep that there. So go to the lab librarian. Let's uh, create a new live set. So I just call it demo. Uh, and let's drag these three sounds from the amp into the live set. There we go. So we've got uh, a new live set, very simple with three sounds in it. Very easy. One final thing to say, uh, you can save, export live sets to a file to make even more sure that you uh, you don't lose them in say, in case say Tone Studio uh, goes wrong or crashes in some way. It's very easy, all you have to do, export button, which is the upward pointing arrow, uh, select the live set that you want to save to a file, uh, select file, because that's where you're exporting it to, pick a name and a location for it, and save button. And there it is, backed up to your hard drive. I hope you can now use the librarian uh, and the live sets feature in Tone Studio without worrying that you'll totally mess up your katana. Thanks very much for watching. Please subscribe and ring the notification bell. And don't forget to check out the links in the description below. Keep making music, and I'll see you again in the next video. Cheers.